and today is one of the best days ever, Philly Hot Day! Good morning, Alex. Are you ready for this big day of school? Oh, hello, Lee Sparkles. Of course I'm ready for school. That's why I'm the teacher's favorite student in class. That's right, Alex. You're one of the best students ever. Oh, that reminds me. Do you want to show me your silly hat? I'll show you mine. Oh, no thank you, Ellie Sparkles. I'm saving my hat for when we get to school. I just know that Miss Blue is going to love my hat the most. Well, I can't wait to see it in class then. Time to get on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> Oh my, such a busy day of class today. Checking the homework, grading the big science test, and of course, judging the silly hat contest. Oh look, the students are here now. Come on in students, welcome to class. Good morning, Miss Blue. All right, before we begin, let's take the attendance. Ellie, are you here? Here, Miss Blue. And Alex, are you here? I'm present, Miss Blue. And if you noticed, I was the first one to arrive in the classroom. Oh, yeah. And since you're such a great teacher, I brought you a small gift. A basket full of apples. Because one apple just isn't good enough for a teacher as nice as you. Oh, wow, Alex. That sure is a lot of apples. But I think this is one too many apples for me to eat all by myself. Perhaps we can share them after class during lunchtime. Okay, now to get started with class, I think that we should judge the silly hat contest. I can't wait to see how silly your hats are. Who's gonna start first? Ooh, me, 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 me! I go first, I go first. Since I always follow the teacher's rules, my hat was made exactly how you said, Miss Blue. See, here's the word silly, and I can wear it on my head. It's a silly hat, just like what you asked for, Miss Blue, right? Well, that definitely is a silly hat, but I was expecting something a little more silly. Let's see what grade the silly meter gives your hat. Well done, Alex. The silly meter gives your hat two points. Now let's see what Ellie's hat is like. Well, my hat is a little bit different from Alex's. I made it. And it's one of my favorite animals, a pig with wings. You can even make the wings move. Like this. <laughs> a flying pig hat. Now that is a silly hat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the silly meter says about your hat. <gasps> That's five silly points for you, Ellie. <laughs> I think your hat was so silly it broke the silly meter. <laughs> it's not even silly or funny. My hat was silly and funny. This isn't fair. Okay, class, time for our first lesson of the day. Rhymes. Rhymes are when two words have the same sounds at the end. For example, king rhymes with ring. The king bought a ring. Now here's one that's a little harder. Fountain rhymes with mountain. There's a fountain on top of the mountain. Now you have to tell me a short poem that rhymes. Who will start? I will. <coughs> this poem is called Miss Blue. Roses are red, violets are blue. And speaking of blue, Miss Blue is the smartest teacher in the whole wide world. And she is my hero. The end. Well, that was very nice, Alex. But your poem didn't exactly rhyme. Remember, rhymes are when they sound the same at the end. Ellie, what about your poem? My name is Ellie, and I like to eat cheese. 
I always mind my manners, so I always say, please. I say, please, can I have some cheese? Not please, can I have some peas? I don't like peas. I only like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellie, what a wonderful poem. Not only did it rhyme, it was also super silly. A plus for you, Ellie. <laughs> well done. <sighs> Not again. I can't let Ellie keep doing better than me in class. Now that we've learned all about rhyming, it's time for our big spelling quiz. First question. What letter comes after S in the alphabet? Everyone write your answers down. Ooh, I got this. This is an easy one. The answer is the letter T. I think so too. The letter T. Are we ready? Very good students. T comes after S in the alphabet. Now it's time to write down question two. I want you to use your favorite marker and write the word school. Uh-oh. Wait a second. My marker's all dried up. And it was the only marker I brought today. Oh, no. Hey, Alex, do you mind if I borrow one of your markers? Mine just dried up. Sorry, Ellie Sparkles, but I never let anyone borrow my markers. That's why you're supposed to bring extra markers for the test. But I promise I'll give it back to you after the test. Oh. Okay, everyone, time's up. Let's see your answers. Miss Blue, this was a hard one, but I know exactly how to spell it. C S C H O O L. School. Um, Miss Blue, my marker dried up in the middle of it after S C H. So that's what I wrote. Yes, yes, yes! I got them all right! That's why I'm the best student in your class, Miss Blue. <laughs> oh, it's time for lunch. What a wonderful morning it was. Wow, we sure did a lot of things in class today, and now I'm super hungry. Lucky for me, I have my favorite lunch. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some fruit. Oh, hello, Lee Sparkles. That was a great spelling test, wasn't it? Yes! Oh, what do you have for lunch? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Mm-hmm. Well, I have something much, much better. A blueberry ice cream sandwich. See, I told you my lunch was way better than... Oh no, my sandwich! It's... it's melted! I must have forgot to put the ice cream in the freezer. Oh, it's okay, Alex. You can share my lunch with me. I have another half of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Miss Blue likes you more than me because you do everything right. Your silly hat was way sillier than mine, and your poem actually rhymed. Mm, you're upset about your hat? Well, I have a great idea. I'm really good at making things silly. And I have all these fruit. Maybe we can use my fruit to make your hat super silly. How does that sound? Yeah. Great idea, Ellie Sparkles. Do you think you could teach me how to rhyme too? Of course. Well, let's get this hat all sillied up. The name of this poem is called My Friend Ellie. I have an awesome friend named Ellie. At lunch, we shared peanut butter and jelly. When I need help in school, I know a friend that's cool. My friend's name rhymes with belly. It's Ellie. Bravo, bravo, Alex. What a wonderful poem with wonderful rhymes. And this hat, this wonderful hat. It's covered in all sorts of fruits that I love. It's so silly. Oh my goodness, just look at it. A pluses for everyone. Oh wow, there's an orange on your hat, and a banana, a plum, grapes. And oh my goodness, do I see a watermelon in the back? Oh, oh my gosh, I've never even expected. 
Ah, finally back to school from a long and relaxing break. Yeah. I got up to so much during my break. I rode some construction machines, I visited a nature museum, and I even went to an amusement park and had so much fun. Yeah. But now I'm so ready to go back to school. Did you know there's a new boy joining my class today? I wonder who he is. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> You must be the new boy in school. My name's Ellie Sparkles. What's yours? Jimmy. Well, hi there, Jimmy. Are you excited to go to our school? It's so cool. I hope you get Miss Blue, because she's really, really nice. The best teacher in the world. Yes. But hey, you don't look prepared. Where's your books and your book bag? Oh, don't worry. I have an extra book bag at home, and I live just right over there. I can go there really quickly and pick it up for you. Just make sure that you hold the bus, okay? I don't want to be late. All right, see you soon. notebooks, a pen, <laughs> oh, and even an apple, in case you get hungry. Hello class, I hope you had a nice break. We have a new student in our class today and he's sitting right over there. Why don't you introduce yourself? Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy, I see you brought all your school supplies. It looks like you're very prepared. You must be a great student. Jimmy. The first lesson of the day is... Oh, Jimmy, do you have a question? Jimmy? For me? Oh, how nice. My, my, Jimmy, you sure do know how to make a first impression. Cool. Jimmy. Okay, class, take out your homework from before the break. Oh, Jimmy, since it's your first day, you can share with me. Question number one. What is two plus two? Jimmy says two plus two equals four. Wow, great job, Jimmy. Jimmy. Question number two. Name all the colors of the rainbow. Ellie Sparkles, I know you know this one. Miss Blue, see, I did do the homework, but Jimmy is, Jimmy's, um, no excuses, Ellie. Oh, but it seems like Jimmy knows the answer. Ooh, I know, I know. The rainbow is black, brown, no, 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 red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Wow, that's incredible. Great work. Jimmy. Okay, everyone, it's time for gym class. Today is our basketball test. So, Jimmy, Ellie, I hope you brought your basketballs. Oh, wait. I think I put my basketball in Jimmy's new bag. All I have is my soccer ball from last week. Oh, no. Jimmy. Oh my, Ellie, you know the rules, I'm afraid. If you didn't bring your basketball from home, you can't participate in the basketball test. All right, Jimmy, since you have your basketball, let's get to the gym and let's take the test together. Jimmy. Oh no, I'm gonna fail this gym test. This has been a really rough day so far. 
right class, time for my favorite class of all time, gym. I'm the most fit and strongest gym teacher in the whole school. Just look at me go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, oh. All right, who's up first? Who's going to take the hardest basketball test? Jimmy! Let's start with 10 jumping jacks. Are you ready, Jimmy? And go! Jimmy! 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 You did it, Jimmy! And now for the hardest part of the test, the basketball portion. You have to dribble 10 times! Wow. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten! Jimmy, you're the best basketball player I've ever seen! You passed the test! <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy! Oh man, I've had a really long first day of school so far. Jimmy, Miss Blue really likes you. First you came to school early, and then you passed your basketball test. Jimmy! I don't think that Miss Blue likes me a lot. First of all, I was late for school, and then I got my homework wrong, and then I failed my basketball test. Jimmy. It's okay though, thank goodness it's lunch because I brought the best, yummiest, and healthiest lunch ever. And I know after I eat it, I'll feel so much better and start having a better day at school. Wait, swap lunch. Uh, Jimmy, you want to play the lunch swap game? Yes! I don't know. I know that I brought a really yummy and healthy lunch. And I don't know what you brought. Did you also bring a good lunch? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll play with you. Okay, let's swap after one, two, three. Lunch swap! I want to see what you got first. Your new lunch is... <gasps> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some fresh blueberries. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. See, yummy and healthy. All right, let's look at my lunch. Sounds like a good one. <gasps> what? I got a giant candy bar and some really sugary soda. Oh no, this isn't a real lunch. It's just sugar. Oh, no. This has been the worst day of school ever. I've been preparing all summer to have the most perfect first day of school. And now, I'm not. Wait, Ellie. I'm sorry for ruining your day. I've been a bad friend. It's just that I'm new at school and I don't know how to make friends. But you can have this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I know that's your favorite. I'm gonna have my blueberries. And here, you can have this basketball. Now you can go to Miss Blue and pass the basketball test. Yes, I've been practicing all summer my basketball skills. I can't wait to show her. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to the gym and let's practice. I'm pretty good at basketball too. Come on. Passes over to me, Jimmy. Woo! Look at me, Jibble. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait for one of my favorite days of school today. Teacher Appreciation Day. And I have a list of all the teachers I have to give a gift to. I wonder who's first on the list. Uh-oh, him already? Boys and girls, just wait until you meet this teacher. One gold coin. Two gold coins for Mr. Pirate. Three gold coins. Who 
gold goes there? Can't you see I'm counting me pirate gold? Oh, uh, now where was I? One, two, three, uh, what comes after three? Four? Thirteen? H? Hi, Mr. Pirate, it's me, Ellie Sparkles, and have I got a special surprise for you. This better be good, Ellie. You interrupted me gold counting. I was doing so good, I counted all the way up to three. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you say you have a surprise for me? Yeah, here you go. A gold coin from Mr. Pirate! Wow! All I've ever wanted since I was a wee little pirate is a gold coin, and now I have another one for me, pirate treasure! <laughs> but there's still room for more. <laughs> do you have any other gold coins for me? Oh, I do have so many gold coins left, but I saved them all for the rest of my teachers. So each teacher gets one gold coin each. <laughs> that reminds me, I better go see everybody else on my list. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Pirate. See you in math class. Arr, did you see that? Ellie has more gold coins for the other teachers. I have to find a way to get those gold coins before she gives it to the other teachers. Oh, quick, I need a pirate plan. Think, Mr. Pirate, think. Mm. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got a great idea. Since I have so many teachers at school, I'm going to spin this giant teacher wheel to see who I'll visit next. <laughs> Are you ready? One, two, three. Giant spin. It landed on Dr. Science. Nice. He's my science teacher, and he's always working on some really cool experiments. His science lab is over there. Let's go visit him. <laughs> oh, so Ellie Sparkles thinks she can share all me pirate gold with that silly Dr. Science? Oh, I can't let that happen. All I have to do is put on a disguise, and Ellie Sparkles will think I'm the real science teacher. <laughs> There's got to be something here. Oh, quick. Uh, oh. No. Nope. Oh, this looks science-y. <laughs> oh, it worked! It worked! I look exactly like that silly Dr. Science. <laughs> oh, wait, let me use my pirate comb. <laughs> this will make me look even more silly. Mr. Science, are you in there? Oh, no. Ellie's here already. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I need to act like a scientist. Um... <laughs> Doing? It's about time, Ellie. I mean, uh, hello, Ellie Sparkles. I'm, uh, I'm doing all sorts of scientist stuff, just like a regular scientist would do. Like uh, looking in my telescope. <laughs> oh, there's Jupiter. You're so silly, Dr. Science. That's not a telescope, that's a microscope. We're seeing really, really small things. Not really big things that are far away like stars. You taught us this yesterday. Hmm. Is something the matter, Dr. Science? Are you really Dr. Science? Of course you are. Who else would have green spiky <laughs> hair like that? <laughs> anyway, for Teacher Appreciation Day, I'm getting all my teachers fantastic gifts. And this is yours. Oh, <laughs> gold coin! Oh, this is great! I could do all sorts of experiments with me gold coins. But uh, to do more experiments, I need more gold coins. Do you have more for me? Even though you're the smartest teacher I know, I only have one gold coin per teacher. Sorry, Dr. Science. <laughs> See you in science class later. Bye, Ellie. <laughs> oh, another gold coin for me, treasure. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Let's spin the teacher wheel one more time. Three, two, one, spin. <gasps> Amazing, it landed on Mrs. Blue. She's my reading teacher and she always tells me I'm the best student in reading class. Let's go visit Miss Blue. Ready or not, here I come. 
Hard. So Ellie's going to reading class next. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I always have me Miss Blue costume handy. She'll never know it's me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Which way is class? This way or that way? Uh, I don't know. This is why I never liked me pirate reading class. Hello, Miss Blue. Is anyone here? Well, I guess Miss Blue isn't here yet. I'll come back later with her surprise. Wait, Ellie, Ellie, wait up. I mean, uh, oh, it's me, Mrs. Blue. Uh, sorry I was late. I was in the library reading my favorite book. <laughs> it's so funny. Miss Blue? <laughs> yes? You were reading your book upside down. That's so silly of you. Hmm, something is strange with you, Miss Blue. You look a little different. Yes! Oh, I know, you got new glasses. That's why. So, did you know that English is my favorite subject and I love to read? And because you're my favorite teacher, I got you a gift for Teacher Appreciation Day. A gold coin. Woohoo, this is the sweetest gift I've ever gotten. A++ for you, Ellie. I love pirate, I mean, I love gold coins. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Miss Blue. I'll be back later for reading class with my homework, of course. See you soon. Bye, Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> Another gold coin. I almost have my pirate treasure back. <laughs> this is the best plan ever. Where's that book of mine? Let's do this one more time. Three, two, one, spin. <laughs> it landed on Mr. Chef, my cooking class teacher. And perfect timing too, because I'm super hungry. I think I smell Mr. Chef cooking up something super special. <laughs> So, Ellie's coming to cooking class next. I'm gonna cook me pirate pizza. Oh, once she tastes me pirate pizza, I'm sure to get the rest of her treasure. Oh, cooking pirate pizza is so yummy. And I'm gonna steal all of Ellie's money. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Chef. Ooh. Oh my goodness, you made the whole school smell so delicious. You have to tell me what you're making today. Wait. Are you making pizza? Pizza is one of my favorite foods ever. You're gonna have to show me how to make it. Ooh, sure thing. Pirate pizza is my favorite. First thing to do, you have to cook the sauce. So first, you take these tomatoes and you put them in the pan. You need about 10. And then you stir it up like this. And then you flip it. Oh, uh, it, it's done. <laughs> oh, and then you have to cook the pizza dough. Here it is. Oh, wow. The pizza dough is really big, huh? First, it starts off like a ball. That's like a circle. But to turn it into flat pizza, you have to throw it in the air like a frisbee. Woohoo! 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 <laughs> Chef, or should I say, Mr. Pirate? Oh, oh no. no! Wait a second, were you tricking me the entire day? You were dressed up as my teachers all day, weren't you? Arr, you got me, Ellie Sparkles, but I was just trying to get all your pirate treasure for myself. <laughs> I guess you could have all the gold coins back. <laughs> Bad Mr. Pirate, sad Mr. Pirate. Well, it definitely wasn't nice what you did, but I know you love treasure so much, Mr. Pirate. So I got you another surprise. It's a pirate's treasure map, so you can look for your own treasure. Doesn't that sound fun? Yes! Oh, a pirate treasure map for me? Oh, I love it! After I find the treasure, I'll be the richest teacher in school. Oh, thanks, Ellie Sparkles. You're welcome. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna do me pirate happy dance. <laughs> Wee. Hi everyone! Are you ready to play the Trolls World Tour Giant Smash game? 
I can't wait to find out all the surprises behind the trolls' characters. And we have three of our favorite trolls to help us out. Hey, wait a second. What's that noise? Wait a second. Where did our friends go? Oh, no. I think somebody's behind all this. Hmm, I have an idea. Let's spin the wheel and find out. It landed on the mystery character. And we have a couple hints that'll help us find out who it is. Our hints are, this person loves trolls. They were in the first Trolls movie, and their favorite food is trolls. What? Their favorite food is trolls? I don't like the sound of that. I have no idea who it could be. Hmm. Three, two, one, giant smash. Oh, oh no. Yep, that's right. It's me, Chef. Chef, what are you doing here? You're not in the Trolls World Tour movie. Hey, did you say that I'm not in the new Trolls movie? No way. I thought I was finally going to have a delicious Trolls dinner in the new movie. This isn't fair. Well, it's a good thing I took Poppy, Branch, and Cooper and hid them in my secret hiding spots. If you don't find all three of them, I win the game and get to have a yummy Troll snack. Good luck, Gally Sparkles. <laughs> Boys and girls, we have to save Poppy, Branch, and Cooper. Come on, let's get back to the wheel. We're in the wheel room for spin number two. Let's see who we get. Three, two, one, giant spin. Cool, it landed on Poppy. Poppy's an awesome troll who also happens to be a queen. And her favorite color is also my favorite color, pink. I wonder what I would look like if I were Queen Poppy. This is way better than I thought. Super pink. <laughs> Let's see what Poppy left for us. Three, two, one, giant smash. <gasps> awesome! Look, everyone, it's Poppy. We saved our first friend from Chef. Oh, I love this Poppy toy. She's so cute and cuddly and has so much troll hair. I love giving her a big hug and using her special comb to brush through her hair. <laughs> Whoa, I wish I had pink hair like this. It would match my dress perfectly. <laughs> well, that's enough brushing. We have to go find Branch and Cooper. We have to save them from Chef. Let's go back to the wheel. Time for spin number three. Let's do this. Three, two, one giant spin! It landed on Biggie! Biggie is the most friendly troll in the whole entire world! He carries around his pet worm, Mr. Dinkles, everywhere he goes! But do you know how Biggie got his name? That's right, because he's pretty big! <laughs> he's even bigger than that! Bigger! Come on, even bigger! He's that big, boys and girls! See what I mean? <laughs> okay, Biggie, time to see what you left for us. Three, two, one, giant smash! <gasps> What's this? Yikes! It's a spider! Oh, it's fuzzy like a troll, but it's definitely not one of our troll friends! <gasps> Sorry, Ellie, but Biggie's a little busy, so I thought I'd pop in and surprise you. <laughs> That's two points for me, and if you find me just one more time, then I win the game and get a yummy Trolls dinner. Hmm, what should I eat when I win the game? A branch burger? Ooh, or maybe some Cooper cupcakes? Ooh, or my favorite, poppy pancakes? Oh, there's so many yummy things to choose from. Nice try, Chef, but we still have some time to save Branch and Cooper. Ugh. I know just the thing. We have to hurry to the wheel room. Let's go. I'm so excited to spin the wheel again. Three, two, one, giant spin. Cool, 
it landed on Cooper. Cooper's an awesome troll because he's not like the others. He hasn't got big troll hair and he's got four legs. Oh, and there's one more thing that's different about Cooper. <laughs> that's right, he's got a really long neck. Wow. Whoa, is this what it feels like to be a giraffe? I feel like Cooper. Hello down there. <laughs> you know what time it is. Three, two, one, giant smash! Look everyone, it's Cooper! Another troll friend to join Poppy! <laughs> but wait, let's make sure it is Cooper. Cooper's got four legs, blue hair, a green hat, and a super long neck. This is definitely Cooper! And that means we just have to find Branch and win the Trolls World Tour Smash game. Oh, we're so close, everyone. Ooh, let's spin the wheel one last time and hope that we don't get Chef. It landed on Branch. Awesome. Branch was a really unhappy troll in the first movie, but then Poppy taught him how to sing and dance, and now he's super happy. <laughs> But wait, just because we landed on Branch doesn't mean that we're going to save Branch. Oh, I hope that when we get underneath this circle, it's not going to be Chef again. Three, two, one, giant smash. Oh, it's not Chef, it's Branch. And that means we win. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Oh no, my plan is ruined again. Okay, Ellie Sparkles, if I can't hit trolls, can I at least be in the next Trolls movie? I can sing and dance just like a troll. Please, please, I'll show everyone what a great singer and dancer I am. I'll be a good chef, I promise. I won't eat trolls anymore. Please, please, pretty please. Arg! Hi, Ellie. Hi, Chef Zoe. Uh, seems there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yesterday, I was so hungry, I asked you both to cook me a lunch for my first day as Pirate Principal. It's okay, Principal Pirate. Since I am the real chef here, I'll cook for you. Well, I'm not a real chef like Chef Zoe, but I did bring all these ingredients, and I'd hate to see all these ingredients go to waste. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Oh, I know. Why don't you both cook me a lunch for my first day as Pirate Principal? We'll make it a competition. Whoever cooks the best lunch wins. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. A game? I love games. Let's do this. You're on it, Ellie Sparkles. This is going to be easy. So, Ellie, what are you making? You don't have any fancy ingredients like I do. Well, I decided that I was going to make something that I'm best at. It's also my favorite, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Principal Pirate's going to love this one. First, you just have to have two pieces of bread, which I have right here, some peanut butter, and some jelly. Any flavor will do. You have to have a huge scoop of peanut butter, just like that, and spread it around. And next, you got to squirt on your jelly. I love grape jelly. Mmm, smells good. And now you just have to put them together. There we go. The perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for a principal? Woo! This is easier than I thought. You don't think he's going to like it? Well, what are you making? I'm making the world famous fancy pizza. First, you get pizza dough and you stir it up high, very high. Then you get tomato sauce and then some cheese. Now, for the best ingredient of all, my Zoe Chef Secret Seasoning. Everybody loves my secret seasoning. All done. 
Perfect! You really are such a great cook, Chef Zoe. Let's get this to Principal Pirate. Arr, what's taking them so long? Me pirate belly's so empty. Hmm, I wonder if I can eat me gold coins. Hi, Mr. Pirate, it's lunchtime. I hope you're super hungry because we made some delicious lunches for you. I made you my famous homemade uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not that fancy or anything, but it's really, really good. What is that you say? A pea jelly and butternut sandwich? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Ooh, I like the color of that butternut. Is that made of gold coins? Um, no, unfortunately, it's made out of peanuts. <laughs> I guess I'll give it a taste. Mmm, hey, that butternut bread's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Mm, I think I'll give it four gold coins on the pirate yummy scale. Wow, four gold coins? That's great! Thanks, Mr. Pirate! <laughs> Only four gold coins? I bet my pizza is worth ten gold coins. Let me see. That looks yummy. <laughs> it smells yummy. Oh, That's right. I bet it tastes so yummy I can't wait any longer. Can I eat it? Yeah. Yummy pizza, coming in my tummy. Ooh, that's pretty yummy. I like it. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, something in there tastes icky. I think it's that special ingredient you used. My face is turning all green. Uh, sorry, I have to give your pizza two gold coins on the pirate yummy scale. Ellie's sandwich wins this round. Oh, I gotta get this out of my mouth. Quick, get me a drink. Well, for this round, we're making drinks. And I'm sure you'll make a great drink, Chef Zoe. I know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna be making a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. My favorite, and it's so easy to make. All you have to do is have your mommy or daddy cut some orange halves for you, and you have to get your own juicer. So you put your orange half in the juicer like this. And this is the best part. Get your clean glass and squeeze. Just keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing until you get a full glass. What are you going to make, Chef Zoe? Well, Ali, your drink is very good, but wait until you hear about mine. I'm making a banana and strawberry smoothie. <laughs> Your drink only has one fruit, but I have two fruits, and that makes it even fruitier. First, you get a banana and a strawberry and put them in the smoothie maker. Then you turn the smoothie maker on. All done! <sighs> it smells so good. Now, for the best ingredient of all, my secret ingredient. Wait, Chef Zoe, don't you remember what Pirate said? He said that he didn't like it and it turned him green. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me, Ellie. Hey, Ellie, look, there's a giraffe. Wait, where? I love giraffes. Huh? Ellie, sorry, it was just a doggy. Oops. Well, I really wanted to see a giraffe, too. All right, let's bring these drinks over to Mr. Pirate. Maybe we'll see the giraffe later. <laughs> Arr, I'm so thirsty. And my mouth is all dry. Hmm, I wonder if I could drink me gold coins. No, don't do it, Mr. Pirate. Here we are with your drinks. Oh, I was kind of looking forward to drinking me gold coin drink. Well. <laughs> I have something even better than gold coins. A strawberry and banana smoothie. Oh yeah, and this time I didn't add this special ingredient. 
Ooh, that's good. I don't like it when my pirate face turns green. Ooh, I like that flamingo straw you got there. It reminds me of the ocean. Can I take a sip? Yeah. Wowie zowie! Oh, it tastes delicious! I taste a strawberry, and I taste a banana. Oh, I give it four gold coins. Way to go, Zoe. So, Ellie, what you got for me this time? Oh, my favorite drink to drink in the morning is a good old glass of orange juice. Wait a second. Huh? This isn't orange. It was orange when he poured it. Uh, Ellie, uh, this kind of looks like chocolate milk. But what do you think? Does it taste icky? Are you turning green again? It tastes delicious! <laughs> I love me chocolate orange drink. It's a pirate's favorite drink. Hmm, I'll give you five gold coins, Ellie. You win again! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pirate! This was awesome! And thank you, Chef Zoe. You were so fun to play with, and you're such an awesome cook. Aw, congratulations, Ellie. But I guess I'm not the best chef in school anymore. You are. Hey, can you teach me how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? It looks really good. Of course, Chef Zoe. Okay, so first of all, you get the two slices of bread, and then there's some peanut butter on one, and then there's jelly on the other, and then you just gotta mush them together, and if you're really feeling good about your sandwich, you can toast it up and make it extra crispy on the outside. And oh, it's so nice when it's all crunchy and then soft, and then oh my goodness. Time for another day at school. And today's an extra special day because we have a substitute teacher filling in for our regular teacher, Miss Blue. And I heard the substitute teacher is a super smart scientist. I can't wait to meet him. Oh no, a substitute teacher? I just hope he doesn't check our science homework. I always forget my homework for some reason. Oh, I think I hear him coming now. Ooh. Oh. Hi, class. <laughs> My name is Dr. Science, and I'm gonna be your science teacher today. Lucky for you, I know everything about science. Come on, ask me a question, and I'll tell you the answer. Oh, oh, I have a question. What is snow made out of? That's a great question, Ellie Sparkles. We only know it snows when it's really cold out, right? Yeah. And we also know that snow is made out of marshmallows. So when it snows, we can use our hot chocolate mug to catch all the marshmallows, like this. All done. <sighs> Yummy. Huh? Snow is made out of marshmallows? <gasps> yeah. That's what I thought too. But Miss Blue marked it wrong on my test. I knew I was right. Wow, Dr. Science sure is smart. Okay, students, time to join Dr. Science in front of the class. Cool. So, what has Miss Blue been teaching you in science class? Oh, I remember. Miss Blue's been teaching us how to do our own science experiments. Ooh, science experiments? Easy peasy. I know everything about science experiments. Actually, I think I'll show you one now. Wow! Do you like birthday balloons? Yeah. I love balloons. I just don't like when they pop on accident. Exactly. That's why I created a science experiment to have an unpoppable balloon. This balloon will pop no matter how hard you try. And I'll show you now. Cool. First, you have to put some magic science potion in it. Here you go, Jimmy. Ooh, perfect. Now we have to blow up the balloon. Ellie? All right, here we go. Now, for one last step, some Dr. Science lightning. All done. The most unpoppable balloon ever. Wow. Here you go, Jimmy, try to pop it. See, it didn't pop. Now you, Ellie. 
I've never heard of an unpoppable balloon before. This blue never taught us this. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Dr. Science. I didn't think the balloon would pop. It seems like you got science potion all over you. Whoa, that's never happened before. But no need to worry. All you have to do is use some Dr. Science soap. Yep, this will clean everything right up. I'm just gonna pour some on this napkin. See, all clean, easy peasy. Dr. Science? Hey, down here, oh, down God. here. Oh my goodness, Dr. Science, it looks like you shrunk yourself. Wow, Dr. Science, you really are the smartest scientist ever. Whoops, Dr. Science used the wrong science potion again. Just the science error. No big deal, everybody. Get back to your desks. Everything's A-OK. -okay. I got it all under control. Whoa, look at that ant over there. That ant is huge. <laughs> OK, class, now that I showed you how to do a science experiment, and now that I'm big again, it's time for your big science quiz. Are you ready? Class has been a little different so far, but I am so ready for this quiz. Miss Blue's been teaching us all about animals and I've been studying all night. I'm gonna show Dr. Science that I know a lot about science too. Oh no, a quiz? I totally forgot about the quiz. I didn't study at all. I'm in super big trouble. Question number one. We all know that owls have really big eyes and they live high up in the trees, but what noise does an owl make? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Okay, I went to a zoo with Miss Blue once and the owl there went like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. Wait, I was wrong? Huh, I thought I knew about owls. Okay, it's my turn. Owls, owls. Do owls make the sound? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ooh, ooh. Woohoo! You got it right, Jimmy. Owls live high up in the trees, and at night they go. Now it's time for question number two. This question is about bunny rabbits. What food? do bunny rabbits like to eat the most? Oh, I definitely know this one. I must have been confused about the owl question, but this answer is carrots. Rabbits love to eat carrots because they're orange, healthy, and super yummy. Am I right, Dr. Science? Wait a second, I was wrong again? Oh no! Okay, it's my turn. The Easter Bunny likes to eat bananas? Right again, Jimmy. Rabbits love to eat bananas. Look, I'm a rabbit eating a banana and dancing like an owl. <laughs> wow, Ellie, I never knew I was so smart at science. I got all the answers right in my quiz. Are you surprised? And I didn't even study. There's the lunch bell. Oh, I could definitely use some lunch. I always love coming to school, but today has been one of the hardest days of school ever. Dr. Science has been telling me that everything that Miss Blue taught me has been wrong. It's okay though, it's lunchtime now and I can really relax. I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, my favorite. Ellie, Ellie, I've been looking for you for so long. I need to show you the coolest thing ever. Since I am a really good scientist, Dr. Science taught me how to turn any food into pizza. Can I? Maybe try it on your sandwich? I don't know, Jimmy. Peanut butter and jelly is my favorite lunch ever. I like it even more than pizza. And plus, how do you know that his experiment is even gonna work? Of course his experiment is gonna work. Dr. Science is like the smartest person ever. So please. Okay, you've convinced me. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, all we have to do is pour a little bit of this onto the sandwich and we wait. All right. Oh, wow, it definitely changed. But wait, this isn't a pizza, this is a bug. Gross! 
whoops, sorry, Ellie. That really wasn't supposed to happen. I don't, I don't know what it did. Okay, students, welcome back from lunch. Now that science class is over, I thought I'd teach you another class, music class. Now, do you know what this instrument is called? That's right, this is a violin. And I'm gonna play a song just for you. Dr. Science is so smart, E-I-E-I-O. With some science class here and some music class there, Reading class, spelling class, everywhere a class, class. Doctor Science is so smart. E I E I O. Woohoo! I told you I'm a great singer. And now, another song just for you. Hello, class. I'm back. Sorry I'm late. Miss Blue, there you are. Welcome back. Oh, and you must be Dr. Science. I've heard you are the smartest and most sciencey science teacher ever. Thank you so much for being the substitute teacher. You're welcome, Miss Blue. And I have to say, Ellie and Jimmy are the nicest and smartest students ever. Especially that Jimmy. He is one good science student. I'm gonna teach him all my experiments. Hmm, speaking of experiments, I have to try that pizza experiment one more time. Hmm. Bye, Dr. Science! You're the smartest teacher ever! Whoa! This road is super bumpy. It has lots of little holes and rocks. I can't ride my bike on this road. I'll fall right off. I wonder if there's a way to fix it. Hey, look over there! Hey, Mr. Construction Worker! My name is Ellie Sparkles, and I was just riding my bike on this dirt road here, but it's super bumpy. There's holes and rocks everywhere. Do you know a way to fix it? Yeah, how are you, Elm Construction Craig? I can fix it, or I actually work for Local 825's training center. I could teach you how to fix it. How would that be? That would be awesome! I've never learned how to make a new road before. Boys and girls, if you want to learn more about construction trucks with Construction Craig, <laughs> give me a big thumbs up. Just show me the way. Okay, Craig, what's the first thing we need to do to make a new road? First thing we need is we need to make some dirt. Some dirt? With this? It looks like a giant robot arm. Actually, you're close. It's an excavator. We use that to dig holes and make piles of dirt. An excavator. I'm going to take a look around. Come on, boys and girls. The excavator doesn't have wheels. It has tracks. Isn't that cool? And this arm extends 36 feet. And the bucket holds a pickup truck load full of dirt. Awesome. And this is where I'm going to be sitting. It's the driver's cabin. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to make the biggest pile of dirt ever. <laughs> so cool. Time to make a big hole. Awesome! Look at all that dirt! We're all done. We dug a hole and made a big pile of dirt. Let's see how we did. So Craig, how did I do? We did great. We got just enough dirt for our road. Awesome! But wait, I also saw some huge boulders laying around. 
How do we get rid of those? I got just a machine for that. I'll show it to you. Yes! Whoa, that looks familiar. I know, it looks like one of those giant claws in those arcade machines to win prizes. But this doesn't get us little prizes. It gets us big prizes, like cars. <laughs> this is an excavator with a claw on it. We don't use it for picking up prizes. We use it to pick up things like tree branches or rocks. <gasps> and I see some boulders over there too. They look super heavy. Okay, boys and girls, let's get to work and pick up those boulders. <laughs> Boys and girls, look, I'm operating the claw. That rock is huge. than it looks. Look at all these awesome construction trucks. So cool. What's that over there? Come on, let's go. This is my favorite machine ever. It's a bulldozer. I've always seen it in all my favorite TVs and movies, but I've never actually seen one in real life. What does a bulldozer actually do? Well, we're gonna take this machine and the dirt that we generated earlier, and we're gonna level it all out here and make our road. Awesome! I'm gonna check it out even closer. So this, boys and girls, is called a blade. It's super big and super strong. It can move all sorts of heavy things like snow and rocks and dirt. It's almost like a shovel for when you want to shovel snow out of your driveway. And look, tracks again. They use tracks because they're super strong and they can maneuver all sorts of different terrain. Cool. And there's the cabin I'm going to be in to operate this bulldozer, my most favorite machine ever. Let's do this, boys and girls. our road so far. Hmm, it's still really lumpy and super bumpy. And I like to ride my bike really, really fast, so this needs to be nice and smooth. Oh, we got one more machine and one more thing to do. It's a blacktop roller. That'll smooth this right out. You want to see it? Yeah, let's check it out. Awesome! Look at this machine. It's a pavement roller. And his wheels are like a rolling pin, something that I use to maybe make pizza dough or pie crust. And it works the same way. It'll roll out the dough, nice and smooth. And this will roll out the dirt, nice and smooth. <laughs> are you ready to flatten some dirt? Yes. Let's go.
All right, is the road nice and smooth now? Yep, perfect for biking. See, boys and girls, not only boys can be construction workers, but girls can too. Right, Nina? That's right, Ellie. There are lots of girl construction workers just like me, and they're great at it, just like you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Local Union 825, for helping me out with all this equipment. It was so much fun to learn about all the construction machines. Now let's ride.